Hi, my name is Chelsea Gilson. I am a yoga instructor in Los Angeles, and I've also hosted yoga retreats all around the world to places like Morocco and Peru. And I've seen that online there is a lot of information about the chakras, but not a lot of tangible information. So I wanted to create a process of helping to clear and open the chakras. So each of the chakras, which are these energy systems, so we want the energy to flow nice and gently through each of the chakras and have them be nice and clear and open. So it really is like a foundation of the house. So you start with the base, the foundation, the root chakra, and then you're moving all the way up until you get to the higher chakras, which are associated with spirituality and intuition and receiving um, from God or from your spirit guides or whatever you believe in, this is your connection to them. So we'll start this first video with the root chakra. So the root chakra is located right at your tailbone, right at the base of the spine. And the root chakra is really the place of your survival, of your primal instincts. So it is concerned with food and shelter and financial security and safety and all of these basic needs. So if you have a root chakra that is unbalanced, you might have issues with fear or anxiety or panic. You might have feelings of despair. Um, you might also have an eating disorder, either overeating or anorexia or bulimia, something that is derived from these feelings of um, scarcity or feelings of uncertainty in the root chakra. So when you are in a difficult time of change as the world is in right now during this pandemic, it's really easy for your root chakra to be compromised and to have it be blocked. So I'm just gonna teach you three easy, simple techniques to help open and clear your root chakra. We'll go through these fast, but I invite you to use whichever one speaks most to you and whichever one resonates with you. I invite you to use that in your daily practice. You will notice a difference from it. So the first technique that we'll use is a pranayama, which is a breath. And this pranayama I have affectionately nicknamed candy cane breath and uh, because the way that it looks in my mind. So for this breath, we're gonna inhale for a count of five. And as we inhale, we draw a mental image from our nose up to the crown of our head. And then we'll exhale for a count of seven, drawing a mental image from the crown of your head all the way down to your tailbone, really where your root chakra lies. So it's an inhale for a count of five and an exhale for a count of seven. So we'll start doing this together. So exhale all the air out of your lungs. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going at your own pace, really elongating the exhales. And this breath helps to calm our nervous system. So as you do this, you'll notice a wave of calm washing over you. A few more breaths like this. Letting yourself relax, letting any stress or anxiety melt away. And on your next exhale, just let that breath go. And take your palms and place them on your legs. So if you're sitting on, up on your knees or crossed leg or you're laying down, doesn't matter, just place them down on the top of your thighs. Close your eyes and ground yourself with the feeling of calm and peace that you got from that candy cane breath.
Beautiful. The next practice that we're going to do is a mantra. So I drew this beautiful, really intricate detailed painting for you. But you can also, if there's something in your field of awareness that is red, you can look at that, either gaze at it, or if it's something you can hold in your hand, you can hold it in your hand and contemplate it as we go through our mantra. Otherwise, you can just look right here at this red drawing that I did, and we'll repeat this mantra together. So just repeat after me. I am grounded. I am safe, I am supported by the universe. I am grounded, I am safe, I am supported by the universe. I am grounded, I am safe, I am supported by the universe. Repeat it one more time to yourself in your own words. And then place the palms of your hands back onto your thighs. You can continue to look at the red and start to embody that mantra. Let yourself fill with the feelings of grounding, of safety, of support. Knowing that the universe will support you. And let that go, taking a nice inhale and exhale. And the last thing that I will show you is a pose or an asana, a yoga pose that is wonderful for clearing the root chakra. So if this is um, uncomfortable or something that you don't wanna do right now, you can still get that same sense of grounding just by sitting where you are. You don't have to come into this pose if you'd like to, it's just a Malasana Yogi squat. So your feet come out, toes are pointing away, heels are down on the ground. If you can't get your heels down, you can put pillows and blankets underneath your glutes here. And then we're gonna take our hands together, elbows to the inside of your legs. You can gently push your elbows into the inside of your legs with your hands together. Sometimes it feels good to have a little bit of movement here Sometimes this doesn't feel good at all for some of you, so just put an extra height for the pillows and blankets. And then let your chest be proud here, but let your hips sink down. So a lot of tension from the root chakra gets stuck right in here in our hips and can really feel cumbersome for our hips. So if you find a lot of tightness here, this could be attributed to the root chakra. So if any emotions come up or any thoughts, just let them come up and be released out. With your hands pressing together firmly, start to think about your feet also pressing firmly into the earth, lifting up your toes and grounding them into the mat. And I want you to think, maybe with your eyes closed, about roots growing from your feet, or if you're seated, from your hips. Follow those roots as they go through your floorboards. Maybe they go through to an apartment that's below you. They keep going, they go through a foundation, maybe a basement, maybe a parking garage. They go all the way down into the earth. And as they keep going, you pass different sediments and rocks, different layers of the earth. And you feel supported and grounded and rooted in mother nature. And then let yourself feel the energy of that grounding, rooted feeling. Travel back up through your feet and feel your whole body, your hips, your shoulders, your head, feel grounded and supported and safe. One more inhale and exhale. Just let your hands come down, lift your hips you can just tuck your chin here, shake your head no to any negativity, 
Shake it yes to positivity, to clearing out the root chakra. And then bringing your knees down to the mat, placing your hands on top of your thighs and letting that pose vibrate within you, the sense of safety, you're safe, the sense of security, you're secure, the sense of shelter, of peace, of grounding, knowing that anxiety or worry or fear from the future or of the future is just cumbersome. It's a weight that you don't need to carry. You are allowed to be happy in this present moment because you know that the universe supports you and that you will never be without. You know that you are safe and loved, that you are fed and satiated that you are never lacking because there is always something for you ahead. And with that, bring your hands to heart center, namaste. That is just a quick introduction to the root chakra. I hope that some of these techniques can help you to unblock it. There are so many more ways to dive into the root chakra and work with clearing it, but these are three of the most effective ways that I've found to get in there fast and make a change. So take whatever serves you, whatever resonates with you, and just leave the rest behind. Thank you for stopping by for this video. Next up, we'll be moving up to the sacral chakra. So please tune in for that video.